Sascha von NetbookNews.com. We're taking a look at uh, Inchai Stunt Guy on the Apple iPad 2. That's actually the first time we see um, your augmented reality SDK on the Apple iPad or under iOS. That's true? Yes, that's correct. We've shown this just a couple times in the past. We mm -hmm. actually will be making the iOS SDK available mm -hmm. later this month in beta form. But what I'm showing you here is an example of a game that was developed with Unity and originally on Android. And because the Qualcomm SDK supports Unity, developers can easily take their Android games and move them over to iOS quickly. In fact, this game, which was adapted for our beta SDK, was done in just under 24 hours. Wow. So I can go ahead, and this is the game I just showed you, running on the Desire HD, the exact same game and the exact same experience. Let me see if I can get the little volume up there. And you'll see much larger. So here's my little stuntman. Here's my acceleration pad and my jump, <laughs> and I'll go ahead and say go, and I can follow them all, all the way through. So seamless application running on both Android phones and then also moving or running on, on the iPad too. Very cool. And do you know uh, when this will be available? At the end of this month, we'll have the beta available the beta available beta SDK available for iOS. Okay. So this is called uh, Inch, again is Inch, Inch High Stunt Guy. Look Do you know the name of the, of the companies? Yes, developers? it's Defiant Development. Defiant, oh, you know what? We have the URL over here. So maybe you want to take a look at their website. So that's the very first time we see the Qualcomm AR SDK uh, for iOS. That's right. Great, fantastic, Jay. Thank you. Thank you.